Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Remember Eleven, The Age of Infinity. And let's hop back into it. Let's find out what is up with everything. <laughs> the years, uni, everything. A lot bit my lip. Again, again the things we're saying don't match up. Was my theory that Uni was transferring along with me wrong after all? I get why she's thinking that. If so, why does Uni exist both here and there? And why would he not be mentioning it? That's what is truly confusing me about why she thinks such a thing. Who is this Uni? Who is this Uni guy? Ah, uh, yet another riddle, riddle, riddle. My head begins to hurt. I'm confused. I don't want to think anymore. I tried putting my hand on my forehead. Feels like I have a slight fever. Without saying anything else to Uni, I walked to Sandra's room with heavy steps. As I locked the door aside, I looked for a reply from Sandra. I can only reply to him now. Search the top of the desk. The note from last time was there, but there wasn't anything new. Just looking around, looks like. I think they might have fallen onto the bed uh, or the floor. I tried searching for it, but it was useless. Good grief. She's so pissed. <laughs> Does it have to write something back every time? Like, Does he? I mean, it would be good, but... I tried chatting, but there was no way I, I would hear Satru's voice answer me. Actually, there is a way you could hear Satoru's voice answer you. Satoru, why the heck did you not respond? Well, uh, maybe I got tied up and I couldn't respond. You know, because she could be talking and she'd be talking in his voice. I'm assuming that's what she is doing. Um, but for video game's sake and clarification, the voice actress is staying the same. Slump face down onto the bed. I pull the blanket over my head. Now, if they do have the both, if they both have the same voice, then that would be r really strange. Yeah. Well, they don't because you know I mentioned uh, when she was listening to him over the uh, radio thingy that I was like, she's doing a pretty good job. Uh, being both characters, you know, being herself and being him through her voice, you know what I mean? Put a blanket over my head, enough already. Somebody save me. I'm just a girl. If you throw such an impossible situation at me, there's no way I could bear it, is there? My feelings become so strong that I, that even I couldn't control them. <laughs> Tears well up in my eyes. What I had been holding back until now all burst out at once. Why did something like this have to happen? Why? 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 Hmm. Could be interesting the next exchange. Next exchange they have because they'll be like, "Oh man, you were crying." That's sad. Hopefully he puts it more delicately than that, but that'd be an interesting thing to... interesting exchange. Before I realized that the blanket over my head had vanished. On the contrary, everything around me underwent a complete change. <gasps> I'm standing on the dark snowfield. In front of me was the door to the shelter cabin. My body was frozen through and through. Gusts of died and cold wind tore through me. In that bitter cold, I took leave of my senses. It's more than I could bear, and I made for the shelter cabin, almost falling in the door. Why is she outside? Or why was he outside? Yomogi, who was in front of the stove, got up. He drew near and felt my coat. Why 
よくわからないんだけどそのしゃべり方は湯川さんかええ濡れてるのかそれはまずい Mogi forcibly set me down before a stove. Retter Mono and Nugunda. Togni, Ashino Yubia, Tio Atamete. Confused by the strength of his tone, I nevertheless took off my shoes. Massage Sriona. Retama Hotoka, Mas Machia Nak Tosho in Naru. Tosho? This ah, Yokta Yubi, Warakaria, Ashio Ushina Hamini Naru. Took off my wet coat and hung it by the window. Snow on it began to melt, the water dripping to the floor. Throwing my feet out toward the fire, I hastily began to massage them. Any small hands rubbed my feet. Gradually, I felt the blood return to my frozen feet, along with a sensation like an itch. The Moogie brought over more firewood. This is an interesting choice. Somehow these little choices make me feel like it, they mean big consequences. <sighs> Crap, I don't know which one to choose. Make the fire hotter, I guess, is what I'll do. We don't want her actually getting frostbite, otherwise, that would be an imp impedance. Impedance? It would impede her. <laughs> impede her progress. What would be the possible bad things that happen for making the fire hotter? I guess it could burn the cabin down. Be kind of ironic for a place surrounded by snow and ice to be burnt down, but I guess it could happen. It's made out of wood, but I'm going to trust that Yomogi knows what the crap he's doing. I don't think he plays with fire. Yomogi nodded and threw some firewood inside the stove. The heat of the fire increased in intensity to the point where I could feel it against my face. So warm, I sighed in relief. Okay. Meekly bowed. And from behind me, I heard the sound of someone cl clicking their tongue. When I turned around, I saw Mayuzumi wrapped in blankets on the top bunk bed, looking at Yamugi with cold eyes. Yamugi looked up at the ceiling, fed up. With a little snort, Mayuzumi turns her back to us and lies down. Mayuzumi didn't try to talk back, even after Yamogi's joke. Yamogi had made, a, made me some chamomile tea. Since he had just thrown a tea bag into the cup, it was a bit weak, but there was no substitute for that warmth. Just as I had gotten comfortable, Yuni asked me a question. And next time I switch personalities with someone, I totally will not do the stuff that they make me do. I promise. <laughs> yeah. I have a different, difficult thing to control, I would say. But if he wanted to apologize, Yamogi scratched his head. Then he heaved a sigh as if giving up. <laughs> Yukido, don't do it again. Boom. Then, <laughs> then when she comes back, she's like, "Ah, my eye hurts. What happened? I punched, I punched Yukido, so uh, he wouldn't uh, go outside anymore." Thanks. That would be an amusing. Um, Technique, I suppose. Because of the personality exchange, I'm a big burden to everyone here in the shelter cabin. Mayazumi's inactivity is especially remarkable. She's been staying curled up in bed as if 
exhausted for some time now, but whenever Satru's name comes up, she glares at whoever said it with a mix of rage and sorrow. I don't know what their relationship is, but I don't think it's wrong to say that it's really making her really upset. Anyway, I can't do too much about it. Oh, let's fix that. A cell phone in a uh, in an infinity game. Yeah, the sunspot thing is uh, messing up communications with satellite phone, not a cell phone. I sat beside the stove. Yamogi was trying to get the satellite phone to work. He's clinging to the possibility that it will completely by chance connect. Nodding, Yamogi turned the phone off. If I remember correctly, according to the newspaper, the probability of getting through is around 1 million to 1. If we kept making a phone call once every second for 24 hours, a good connection would occur only once in 11.5 days. Well, I guess it's impossible. Not impossible, just incredibly improbable. Hmm. So is it just a connection that they that's having a problem? Because, I mean... So difficult to connect to, I'd be worried about losing connection. Mm -mm. Oh hey, we're stuck in a cabin! Come, 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 come. Okay, lost connection. Hopefully they're on their way. <laughs> Something along those lines. Hmm. Yeah, I would think that if it was interference so, so bad that it would, you know you know, worry about losing connection. I guess that's I guess it's not like they have much else that they can do. Sure can't walk miles and miles and miles in the snow, blizzard, etc. Feeling restored I moved the, the stove to the bed. Oh it's not turning doing outside. I thought he might have uh, left behind a note. To get the voice recorder and switch down. There were messages on it. Data 1 and Data 2. First I played back Data 1. Satoru da. Mazu wa dou demo ii koto kara hanasu. Kimi no yobou wa dekiru dake kiku tsumori da. Ore tachi wa partner da kara na. Da ga shikashi da. Ude do kei o tsukeru to yu yobou dake wa uke ireru wake ni wa ikanai. Looked at my right arm. My watch wasn't there. It wasn't in my pocket either. Mata? もう、なんでよ。腕時計ぐらいはめとけばいいじゃない。腕に何かついてると、なんだか落ち着かないんだよ。いや、I ま、懐中時計のデザインは気に入ったものがないし、機能的に劣るんで、やむなく腕時計を持ち歩いてるんだが、ジェントルマンの心意気は大事にしたいと思わないか。思わない。そのリロどっかおかしいし。Sadhu is a type who is unsatisfied if he doesn't rationalize anything and everything. Yeah, he's the kind of person I just don't get along with. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, I see what he's saying. 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 I kind of get it though. Uh, now I mentioned before that if it's metallic, I don't really like it. Uh, like those are swatches. I have hair, you know. Anyway, and I'm. What about I'm pinching, you know, pinching the hair and be like, ah, you know, that sort of thing. But I've had leather uh, uh, wrist watches, but they don't bother me too bad. Kind of be something to get used to now. This is. I mean, I think everybody is used to using their cell phones. So, you know, I don't have a very sophisticated cell phone, but it does have the time on it, at least. <laughs> it does tell the time and the date. 
Fancy. So, now I get it. Udo K. Otskero to you, your bony sweet. Kaka Sastemorayo. Denied. <laughs> I love that. He's like, sorry, I won't do it. He's like, denied. They don't want it there. <laughs> Before playing Data 2, I decided to look for my watch. It's not in my pocket. It's not on the book bed ladder either. Not on the bed either. Not on the table either. It wasn't around the neck of the teddy bear either. A lot of eithers here. Damn it, where'd you put it? It's my favorite watch too. You lost it, I'll make you regret it. I'll make you regret it for the rest of your life. Oh my gosh, what's she gonna do? Not the scissors. The pace nervously around the cabin like that. The muggy ass completely puzzled. Came up to Yamogi, grabbed him by the collar, and shook him. Where's my watch? Panicking, I let go of Yamogi's neck. While talking, Yamogi reached a hand into his pocket. What he took out was none other than my beloved wristwatch. As as I took the watch. Like I said, wouldn't it be easier just to ask him? <laughs> well, I wonder what uh, Yomogi expected. Hey, Satoru, why do you give him a watch? I just didn't like wearing him. I, I was just trying to let him hold on to it. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. That was, is that what he expected to see happen? <laughs> like that uh, scene from uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, which one was it? Was it Two Towers or uh, Turn of the King when uh, the when Golem had that conversation? Um, you know he talks to himself a bit, but there was a whole scene where it it was shot from this angle and then this angle and like this one's different from this one. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's like Satri wants to make sure I don't have the watch on. Like he's stubbornly trying to get rid of it. Hiding places are gradually getting more elaborate. That's why he handed it over to Yamogi. He thought I wouldn't find it. Damn it, if that's the way it's going to be, then I'll get stubborn too. <laughs> Just as stubbornly, I'll keep putting it back on. Whenever you hide it, I'm going to find it. Having forged this decision, I sat down on the bed. It'd be funny if she was like... Yamogi, got any super glue? I'm going to glue this thing on. You're like lather my whole wrist up and super glue. Just clamp that watch on. 
I'll wear this till I die. Or lose my hand in a freak accident. But likely die. Although it would be kind of awkward if, uh, if that was the whole reason she did lose a hand. If she was like putting out, putting her hand out, you know, to, uh, to do it. I'm doing this legitimately in, a Jap in Japanese, uh, since this would be the driver's side. I'm totally not, I totally wasn't doing this uh, for uh, <laughs> not thinking about that. Uh, but you know, caught, you know, catch it on something and then just ow. I do apologize if anybody if that's happening by retrieved the voice recorder. It probably has happened to somebody, hadn't it? To some extent. Something sorta, of, I'm sure. I retrieved the voice recorder. Then I'll play data two. What kind of message will be next? さて、I don't understand what is Satri trying to say. I don't understand what is Satri trying to say. I don't understand what is Satri trying to Makes sense. So is he saying uh, is Okay. I was kind of thinking something along those lines. But, yeah, that, I mean... The only thing about that is it would mess up with Uni's timeline. Because uh, the, the one in Sphia didn't recall uh, Kokoro at all. I mean, wait. I mean, he recalled Kokoro, but he didn't recall the cabin. Where if that was the case, then, you know, hmm. Ore to kokoro no ishiki wa kūkan o idou suru to douji ni tobi koete iru na. Ore tachi ga ochiitte iru no wa tan naru jinkaku koukan gensho ja nai. Jinkaku koukan to saru ni jikan chouyaku ga kuwawatta kiwamete tokushu na tenyi gensho nan da yo. Yes, extremely unique. Because, you know, everybody just jumps their personality, you know, all throughout, you know, space. Only a very few people do it through time as well, so. They are a unique bunch here. Eh? Eh? What does this mean? Not just a personality exchange, but also a time jump. Time traveler, it's cool be pretty awkward if uh, she woke up. Huh? This is weird. My body's all itchy. Why can't I scratch anything? Oh my gosh, my arms are really short. But I can't see my arms because my neck is really... I'm a, a T-Rex! So I'm highly doubtful. That's, it's just a silly, silly thought. A very silly thought. Now, not only that, but a time slip is taking place. Come on, really? Come on now. Okay. 
これは事実なんだスフィアは2012年ひな俺と心は2つの異なった時間空間肉体の間をぐるぐるぐるぐると入れ替わり続けてるんだどうしてそんなことが Say this with such certainty, I try to say. 今お前はどうしてそんなことが断言できるんだってそう思ったな I like that because that's sometimes how this game does me. I'll think something and then in the next line they, they bring that up. I guess that's a good thing though. It's done so well that they. You know, I, I did think about that.、Uh, I guess it does.、Uh, it's written so well that it does kind of make you think and realize stuff. At certain points, it's pretty cool. I'm playing right into the game's hands. Dang it. What I want to do is, I'm going to be a good person. 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 これでもまだ信じてもらえないかな。仕方がない。それじゃあユニのことを教えよう。Can get some answers about Uni apparently. That would be good. I'm, I'm particularly curious about why、well, he wouldn't recall the stuff from、uh, the cabin and Yamogi, Maizumi. Kokoro in the cabin. My memory is horrible, but from what I remember, he does. The last thing he remembers is her on the plane, right? Seems like that's what he said at one point or another. Hmm. But anyway, that's all for this episode、uh, from number 11. I do hope you folks enjoyed. And we'll learn, out, learn more about Uni, possibly, if they choose to actually answer it in the next one. So, farewell for now, folks.